What is going on guys? Welcome to another COG video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jermaine. Behind me we have my BMW E92 2007 wide bodied. Um, it's currently on a stage two plus from a MHD off the shelf map with all the supporting mods. But today what we're doing is we're gonna be replacing all of my current mods that I have on this thing and replacing them with EV parts, which are back there somewhere in, behind the car. Um, I'm doing this simply because I have a few friends that can't either afford the maintenance on it or they can't afford the performance parts. So we're going to be basically testing out eBay parts and I'm going to take you guys back there real quick and I'll walk backwards. They're, they're all right there. So I have a few things that I'm going to be replacing on, on the uh, E92 and just testing out what works, what doesn't work including injectors, charge pipes, uh, O2 sensors, you know, just basic stuff, along with, again, some performance mods. We're gonna be replacing all my performance mods with eBay mods. Now, I already kind of started doing it, and I <laughs> seen my intro, and I was like, I don't like it, so I'm gonna redo it, so I'm redoing it. So today, we're starting off with uh, coils, Coils, injectors, Jesus, that glare. Coils, injectors, and uh, plugs. Like I said, I already started, so my plugs are already in. These are eBay plugs. My current plugs were NGK Iridiums, and I don't know where I have those. Oh, yeah. So these were my current plugs which if you see them you know they look clean they're good I'm trying to see if i can get some of that glare away and get it to focus anyways ngk iridiums and we replaced them with some ebay coils and plugs and if they work then i'll post a link down below so you guys can also get them uh, the coils and plugs came as a package so i got these nice little red top uh, coils too that I'm gonna be using and then here which is the scariest part I have index 12 injectors I am currently on index 11s that I've had for a year and a half already I bought them off of FCP Euro and I've had them coded and everything already uh, yeah these don't look too trustworthy, but we're gonna try them out anyway. Let's see how they work. So I'm actually gonna open one up here. I, I opened the other one up, but just to show you. So these are eBay Index 12. You can kind of see it there if they, if the camera focuses on it. They look decent. They they're remanufactured. It's supposed to be remanufactured, recoded, and whatever but who knows if they actually work or not which is the whole point of this so we're going to be replacing these and then we're going to run some data logs without further ado and i'm sorry for the camera shakiness that i have going on here usually i have somebody helping me out but i'm kind of doing this at my house today so i'm by myself so without further ado, let's just start getting right into it and taking these injectors off and putting the ones in with the coils and the plugs. The, club, the plugs are already in, so we don't gotta worry about that. So what you're gonna need for the injectors to come off is a T12 uh, socket and a 14 millimeter wrench for the rail here or the rail tubes or whatever you want to call them oops and then uh the 212 for the bracket down at the bottom here if you guys can kind of see that down there somewhere so t12 14 millimeter all the way right all the way back so i'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse and we're gonna take them off coils are already taken off the plugs are already in i will be taking one off though because so you guys can see what kind of plugs they are um if i can find my spark plug tool here 
So this is uh, another 14 millimeter spark plug socket that I have here that is super thin. That is also what you're gonna need to take the plugs off. And a big extension when you start getting towards the rear cylinders. So like cylinder four, five, and six, you need a bigger extension for. And I don't know where my big extensions are. So we're just gonna get it out and have extensions on extensions. Either way though, I'll put you guys on the time lapse. And once it's done, then we'll start the car up. See how it starts up. Like misfires. Whatever. So let's just get right into it. Uh, don't be like me and forget to disconnect your fuel pumps and depressurize your fuel system before you take the injectors off because they will squirt gasoline all over you. <laughs> I just had it happen to me and I, I completely forgot. I've done this before and just, I, I forgot. I, I forgot. So anyways, the tubes are all, the little pipes are off the uh, injectors. These little little guys, I forgot what they're called. But they're off. I try to keep them the same order I took them off in. I do not like mixing them. Even though you really can't mix them, they have a certain shape to them where you really cannot mix them. So we're going to take the mountain brackets off and put the index 12s in. So we're going to go back on a time lapse to get the rest of the injectors off and put the coils in and then start the car up, see how it drives, how it runs, whatever. Next thing that we're going to do is... I'm not going to do it in this video. This is probably going to be a short video, but next thing will be down pipes and intercoolers. If you guys can see that, I have all that already ordered and it's been sitting here for a while. It was just a matter of whether I wanted to do the videos or not and risk my car getting hurt. But we're just going to, I just kind of said F it and we're just going to send it for science. We are, however, gonna try to get a power goal out of this eBay parts. So after the whole series is over, we're gonna try to go and dyno it. We're gonna try to find a dyno and a tuner that can dyno the car and tune it. And we're gonna try to see if we can get at least 500 horsepower out of it. Is it possible? Probably not. But one or two things are gonna happen. We're either gonna reach that goal or we are gonna send a rod to the atmosphere. Either way, it should make for an interesting video, at least in my opinion. So we'll see how it works out. So let's just get back into the injectors and taking them off and put the new ones on. And then we'll start the car up and see how everything else goes. Okay, so these are actually giving me a problem coming off. I know there's a specific tool that you gotta use to get them out when they get stuck like this. And I don't have it. So I don't know what I'm gonna be doing here to take these off. They've been on for quite a while. So I'm gonna try to get these off and then I'll uh, update you guys on how's that, how that's, uh, how that's going. Okay, so finally got the injectors out. I thought I hit record, but I didn't. So when I went back to see the footage, it was all gone or it wasn't there. So I forgot to hit record. So the first three or uh, four, five, and six are already on. So I'm gonna put one, in, one, two, and three, which I thought these were index 11s that I got off the FCP Euro. Um, they're actually index 12s. But this is what they look like. They're still pretty clean. The seals are still good, even though that if, if they don't work, then I gotta buy new seals for these, take these off, put new ones on. So I'm gonna go grab the other injectors and we're gonna throw them on quick and see how they work after everything is installed. So, uh, so I grabbed my other injectors. Um, 
these do look like they are used. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I'm doing this. So we're gonna throw these on now. And <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they work. If not, then I guess I'm I'm screwed and I gotta put these back on. They do look like OEM though, because if you look from what I've seen and from what I've read, a lot of uh, people sell fake injectors and they'll say that the QR code will not be visible on the fake injectors. So on these you have a fake, or a, a fake, yeah. On these you have a QR code here and then you also have a QR, QR code here. On the replacements, you also have your QR here and you also have your QR somewhere down here. Um, all the markings on it look legit. Hopefully they're good, hopefully they're legit, hopefully they work. I'm not gonna lie though, I am a little worried. So let's just throw them on and just send it. So I'm gonna put you guys back on time-lapse, put them back on. These are already, these three are already in, plugged in. Um, I just got to put the last three in and then put the coils in that I just dropped and got dirty. Okay, so I got everything bolted on. Everything is on, coils, plugs. Everything is literally on. So we're gonna go and start the car. We're gonna prime the fuel pump quick and hopefully it starts with no issues. So throw up MHD real quick on and see how this goes. I have no cold start in this car. I have it taken off on the MHD app, but everything is looking good so far. So you guys can see that it's a gold, uh, cold start. I'm gonna flip over. So you guys can see this is oil temp, coolant temp. So the car's cold. I have no cold start on this car. I have bad brake pad sensors, but um. I mean, it's started out fine. The AFRs are good. So basically everything is working the way it should. So we're gonna take it out for a test drive. What the hell is going on here? A lot of construction trucks and bulldozers and whatnot here. Anyways, we're gonna take it out for a test drive and see how everything works and how everything runs and like I said hopefully it uh, doesn't hurt the car in any way I also need gas so we're actually probably gonna just get gas then I'll record on the way and see how it feels so I'll catch you guys when we get on the road so that way I can get some I can get the car to warm up a little bit but for the most part though Sounds good. I mean, the injectors are super loud, but that's normal. So, I'll see you guys when we get on the road. All right, so we're getting ready to get on the road. Uh, car's kind of warm now. No weird misfires or little sputters or really anything. It sounds smooth. Um, no difference to the old injectors from what I can tell. Uh, mind you, these are not coated. Supposedly they are from the people that send it, but I'm pretty sure you have to recode them to whatever car you, you put them on. So, no weird misfires, no weird sputters, no weird anything. Quick startup. So, uh, all in all, not too bad from what I can tell so far, but I'm gonna probably drive on them for the rest of the day and 
just to see how they how they feel. So so far it's been about 10, 20 minutes um, driving, and there's no breaking up. It it feels fine. It it honestly kind of feels a little better. Um, then again, though, I do have a uh, year and a half old injectors, but it spools up fine. It doesn't break up, doesn't miss fire under uh, heavy load or a high RPM or anything. So I, I think that these injectors might be good. I am going to drive them for the rest of the day and update you guys as I go. As I go. But uh, so far, so far, so good. Um. They feel great. <laughs> oh, that is great. <laughs> oh. no, they, they, they don't, I see no difference in what I had before to what I have now. Um, how long will they last? I I don't know, but for the money, I, I think I paid $250 or $300 for all six of them, but they feel great. Um, like I said, they, they actually even feel better than the ones that I had before. Uh, so if you guys can't go and buy the FCP Euro ones, which I believe they were like twelve to thirteen hundred dollars. Um, then I guess these, if, like, if you can't afford it, then I mean you can go with these. Uh, I'm not gonna toot my own horn yet. I still have the rest of the day. I'm gonna probably on the next video when I do the charge pipe and the intercooler and whatnot. Then I will update you guys on how the injector is doing. But so far, so good. They're not bad at all. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm gonna go get some gas, and then from then, I'm gonna keep driving and just see how things go as I go. So, it's been about an hour now. Um, Injectors are very surprising. They're doing really good. Uh, I've been doing some some pulls on them, uh, some launches. My car is auto, so my launch is probably just ruining the rest of the transmission because my transmission is giving me issues right now. But they're working fine. They're not misfiring. They're not leaking. Dirty. I didn't even have to coat them. I literally threw them on um, the company that I got it from off of eBay. The seller, I mean, said that they were pre coated and you know, whatever else. Usually, when you read shit like that, it's just like, oh, well, how can I really trust this? Well, you really don't. You're, you're, you're kind of buying blind. But for the money, I, like I said, I paid, I think, $300 for these. I will check and I will correct it once I start editing the video. Um, but they're they're good so far. I, I For the money, they, they weren't bad. They're working better than the $1,100 or $1,200 that I spent for my previous injectors. Um, although I can't really say that, though, because I had those on for a while and they never gave me any issues towards beginning or even towards the middle of the time of having them recently they just started giving me a bit of problems my uh afrs on the bank one was it was uh saying that i was that it was still dumping fuel in when it wasn't supposed to so instead of leaning out under uh no throttle it still kept running basically i like i think it was like 50 uh, afr on that bank one uh, bank 2 was good after I replaced the injectors though like I I see nothing it just it leads out to where it needs to and it stays there so I hope that I got that <laughs> it leads out to where, where it needs to and then from there it just goes and like I said these are, are doing good so far when I do
do my downpipes and the charge pipe and the intercooler. Um, I will update you guys on them. It's probably not going to be until another couple days. I do daily drive this car. So it's not like it's going to be sitting and whatever. I'll do a cold start then too so you guys can actually see um, another cold start with the car and just, you know, go from there. So I have no complaints about them so far. They seem to be working pretty good right now. I'm probably going to end the video here or I'm going to go and meet up with Lindsay actually and see if he wants to drive around. Lindsay has another 335i which you've seen on probably one of my previous videos and he is on a custom tune. Uh, I think he's full bolt ohms. I'm not exactly 100% sure but he's on T17 uh, Franken turbos. So this car is it's pretty fast. It's tastefully modded. Unlike mine, I'm, I'm currently in the process of uh, destroying mine. Those burbles sound insanely loud now that I got these injectors. Before they weren't really all that loud, and I did not change any of the tuning for this. But like I said, though, the injectors are not bad. So we're just gonna keep driving them until they fail. And once they fail, I'll let you guys know. And if they don't fail, then you guys will also know. guys like enjoy the or uh enjoyed the uh the clips of Lindsay's car he's his car is actually very nicely modified um and i mean mine is too it's just now we're doing the ebay stuff and uh we're gonna compare basically as we go so his car and my car which is actually right behind me i don't know if you guys can see him but anyways um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys um found it helpful or not helpful or whatever so we're gonna end it here so i'll see you guys on the next one